Hey everyone, happy Saturday. I almost was about to say Wednesday. I can't even remember what day it is these days, but we have a really fun workout for you guys this morning. Rasmus is here again to help me out with coaching. We felt like it was really good when we had the both of us. So it'll be us two again. We're excited to have you guys. Uh, so we'll just wait for everyone to come in. Good morning from Iowa. Hey, Carissa. Hey, Heather in Houston. Victoria all the way in Austria. Yeah, just comment where you guys are from. We have someone from India. That's awesome. Yeah, like why don't we go over the workout while we wait for everyone else to tune in. So um, the workout, we wrote on the board, we kind of resituated our partner a little different this time. Hopefully, um, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see it. So um, today we are starting out with um, obviously a warm up. We'll go over the exercises and get ready for that. But um, we'll mix it up a little, a little bit today. So we're going to start with um, our conditioning piece, a little bit of a moving around and get the blood flowing and get the heart rate up. And then um, everyone loves a good, uh, good core workout. Get ready for when this quarantine is over, get those apps ready. So we're going to start with some, uh, some uh, conditioning and then go into like uh, some core finisher at the end. Um, I think we'll leave the core finisher for now, just kind of let it be. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But for the time being, for the conditioning, let's just focus on that. You got uh, two sets or uh, we should say maybe two rounds. Um, you got three minutes. You got a, a, a uh, do as many rounds as you can in three minutes of 10 plank shoulder taps and 10 jumping air squats. So just those two exercises in three minutes, you're going to do as many rounds as you can. You're going to then rest one minute, and we're going to jump down here. I uh, do apologize for Lauren's bad handwriting. I'm like, I can almost barely read it myself. I don't know how you guys can read it. But anyway, start with that. Three minutes up here, one minute of rest, and then three minutes of alternating high plank to low plank and floor touch to jump. We're doing 10 reps the whole time, so 10, 10. And 10 and 10, uh, that stays the same, should be easy to remember. So three minutes, one minute off, three minutes, one minute off, and you're gonna do that for two times, okay? So the whole thing, two times through, and then um, at the end, we'll do a core finisher. Uh, we'll demo the exercises, and we'll, we'll talk about it again a little bit. Uh, I think for right now, let's just go into a warm-up, and then we can, uh, we can talk about how the whole workout is gonna work in a little bit again. All right. All right. So if everyone can find a place uh, where they can kick their legs and move around, we're going to get started with the warm up. So first things first, we're just going to start moving for 20 seconds. Just move around, kind of just run in place. Again, we want to get that heart rate up. Let's see if we have any questions. So 20 seconds, just keep moving around like this. You can shake out the arms, just keep moving. All right. Five seconds. Three, two, one. We're going to go into high knees. 20 seconds. So high knees in place. Try to get those knees up as high as you can. If they're down there, that's okay. All right, 10 seconds of that, and then we'll go straight into butt kick, butt kickers right after this. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, butt kickers. All right, so same thing, just trying to kick your butt. Get those feet up as high as you can. Rasmus, why are you already breathing hard? <laughs> All right. Five seconds. Three, two, one. We'll go into jumping jacks. So then, just moving around. It's really nice. Some of you probably got up. Some of you guys are probably training late at night. That's okay. We want to get you guys ready to go for the workout. All right. Five seconds. Three, two, one. One, and then you guys are gonna find your place on your mat, wherever you are, and then we're just gonna do where you try to kick your foot up as high as possible to your hand and you'll reach out. So let's do 10 of those. Can you get that foot higher, Rasmus? You blocked the camera. <laughs> Almost count. Let's do five more. All right, one, two. Oh, that's ten? Okay. Next thing, we're gonna do some dynamic stretching. So Rasmus is gonna reach or go down with his right foot next to his right hand, and he's gonna put his right hand next to his right foot. Then he's gonna reach up with that right hand. Then he's gonna reach up with his left hand. And then he's gonna lean back to feel a stretch in his right hamstring. Kind of feel a stretch. And then he's gonna go back down 
and then go into downward dog and you're going to repeat that so you're going to do that same thing on the left side so get that left foot next to your left hand reach up reach up both sides kind of feeling that stretch just getting everything nice and open and then you're going to extend back get that stretch in your hamstring let's do that one more time on each side If you have any questions, good morning from California. Hey, Jason, Starla in Italy. We have Germany, Pennsylvania, Texas. So many great places. How does that stretch feel? Super stretch. I like it. Once we get done with that, then Rasmus is going to stand back up and we're just going to do the same thing where we're running in place, kind of get everything moving. 20 seconds of this. Hey, Christina from Columbus, Ohio. And then just kind of move around, shake those arms out, maybe even do some arm swings in place. Three seconds and then we're going to go back into high knees. So three, two, one. High knees. Ten seconds. And then we're going to go straight into butt kickers. Three, two, one, butt kickers. Going to start off Saturday on a good note. Or for some of you, end it on a good note. All right, three, two, one, and then we're gonna go straight into jumping jacks. 15 seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's a wrap for the warm up. Hope you guys are feeling nice and sweaty and warm and just loosen it up now. And then we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about the workout. We're going to demo the workout movements and then we'll get started with the workout. Yeah. All right. So while you guys get a water break or whatever, um, try to follow along here. I wish I had another pen so I would kind of like show a little bit of what Lauren's handwriting try to mean here. But essentially, we got a little piece right here, got another piece right here. You can do as many rounds as possible. I said 10 plank shoulder taps, 10 jumping air squats. You're gonna rest one minute. And we're gonna do three minutes of 10 alternating high plank to low plank and 10 uh, floor touch to jump. And essentially, you're just gonna go in these two intervals. You're just gonna go as many rounds as you can of these two exercises. Rest a minute, as many rounds as you can down in here, uh, these two exercises here. Just back and forward, back and forward. And then rest one minute. You're gonna do that whole thing one more time, okay? I will, like last time I think I was a little confusion when, when Lauren was doing her workout. Like it's not, um, you're not trying to do the same pace as Lauren. You can go faster than her or you can go slower than her. That's totally fine. Most likely you will not be doing the same pace as her, okay? So when we're doing these, three minutes on your own pace, try to push it a little bit, but go on your own pace. Don't worry about what Lauren is doing. You can see what she's doing to get like an idea of what the exercise is, but don't try to follow her pace. Try to beat her or uh, maybe try to keep up with her. Or if you need to just go a little bit slower, that's totally fine, all right? Let's go into these uh, these four exercises. The first one being the plank shoulder taps. Lauren gonna get down on the floor in a, in a plank. And she is just lifting uh, one arm up to the opposite shoulder. That's one, two, three, four, and 10 reps of these, okay? If she needs to, she can put her knees in the ground and she can now do it from the knees. She can also put one knee in the ground and kind of in between, so she has like one leg up, one knee in the ground, there's different ways of, of kind of modifying this, okay? If you really want, if you want to make it a little harder, you can even go into a pike hold if you feel like you are real for that. Kind of like a bent knee position, and now you're a little bit more weight onto your shoulders. Uh, that's definitely an option, right? So that's the first one. Those are plain shoulder taps. Air squats, or jumping air squats. And Lauren will be going into a, a squat, and then get a little bit of air under her feet as she's, uh, as she's coming up, right? Don't, uh, don't upset your neighbors. If there's something underneath you or next to you or whatever, just uh, try not to smash into the ground. 
a scaling option for this. If like a jumping air squat is too hard, you can you can do a squat, come up and then jump as you like as you come up here. You can do a little jump. That's okay. That's totally fine. You don't need to do it straight into the jump. If you still like want to just kind of take a lot of the jump, you can just do traditional air squats. You just find a good stance. Maybe you want to try to face the camera so that people can see like your stance in the feet. Feet are slightly outside the hip. Hips is going uh, back, knees are tracking forward. She's going like straight down between her legs. And that's a jumping air squat. Again, we've got a few options here. Try to go along, maybe try to train again. I'd like to see uh, sideways from the camera. Yeah, sideways, so both uh, Ideally, I would like to see like a little bit of depth in these. I, I believe in long, like range of motion. So get like full depth as possible. However, like there's different mobilities. And if you're working out without shoes, that makes it even harder. Um, so go as, as low as you can without uh, without any discomfort, okay? All right. So that was the first one. That was the two exercises here. That was the first uh, little piece. Next piece, we're doing alternating high plank to low plank. Lauren is back into the plank position, and she's going down on her little, into her low plank and back up. That was one rep. And now she's doing two reps. Um, you can see Lauren is alternating right here. Whatever, however you want to do it, don't worry too much about it. Just try not to do the same thing the whole way through. Try not to do like right arm down, left arm down, right arm up, right left arm up. Like try to like just mix it up a little bit and then switch to the other side so, that, so you kind of get a little bit of uh, even down. Again, Lauren just showed on her knees. Uh, same as like the, the plank shoulder taps. You can modify putting the knees in the ground. Put one knee in the ground. Um, you probably could do this from a pike position too if you really want to. Challenge yourself, however, I suggest you just go from the, from the plank position, all right? Last one for uh, the time being here will be the floor touch to jump. Lauren is kind of in that squat position again, um, and then maybe a little bit wider with her feet. She's going down to touch the ground, just slightly touching with her fingertips, and as she's coming up, she's raising her hand over the head and jumping. There you go. Yep, similar to air squats. These two are very similar, but like performed a little different. Go back on, so, Different ways of modifying that one. You could just touch the ground and then stand up and not jump and reach up overhead. Yep, exactly as Lauren's doing right there. You can add that little middle jump with a little bit of a break in there, as, as Lauren showed earlier. So kind of like, exactly come up and then have a little jump at the end. However you want, it's really up to you. All right, Lauren, can you see if there's any questions? All right, right now, guys, if there's you any guys, questions. If you guys have any questions about the workout, feel free to ask right now. Otherwise, we are gonna get started. Billy, not training here, just watching. While I eat homemade carrot cake. Man, come on. <laughs> Who's that? Who's That's that? Billy. Oh, Billy. Oh, my God. Hey, Billy. <laughs> All right. I think we're about to get started then. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. I, I'm assuming no one had any questions. Three minutes. We're going to alternate between these two exercises. One minute rest. Three minutes. As many rounds as we can between these two. One minute rest. We're going to do that the whole thing twice. This time we actually upgraded. We have a little timer down here if I can get it to work. See. Hey Mary from New York. Who's are, is everyone ready to go? <laughs> carrot cake is really good. Actually, Rasmus had some carrot cake last night. <laughs> yes. I was so hungry last night, and I literally had a root beer float, and then I finished off with some popcorn. I I don't know why I was like really hungry after the workout we did yesterday. All right, Lauren, you get ready. All right, guys, starting in. Uh, a little five seconds. Lauren will be doing the workout and I'll be coaching um, alongside while she's doing the, the workout. All right, guys? So get out of your mat, get ready, starting five seconds. We're doing plain shoulder taps and jumping air squats. Ten reps. Go. Started. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like you skipped it. Yeah. One. No. I hope you have some music at home. Oh, wait, I'm doing it wrong. Oh my God, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren's a bad demo person. We're doing plank shoulder taps and now jumping air squats. Two and a half minutes left. It's only three minutes. 10 reps and 10 reps. No, I'll have a better time here, like watching people if there's any comments. Come on, guys, we got 
just under, just under two minutes left. Nice. Good job, Lauren. Good job, guys. The jumping air squat should definitely be burning out. Halfway. Nice guys, just over a minute, doing 10 reps and 10 reps the whole time. Trying to get ahead of Lauren, so he's not moving too fast right now. I'm breathing hard already. One minute. Hold on, 40 seconds. One and one, we got 25 seconds, and then we're done with the first, first little set here. First part of the first set. 15. Almost there, guys. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Nice, look at that oh. beautiful timer. All right, guys, so we have one minute rest here, guys, before we move into the next piece. If you have any questions, ask them right now, and I, we can ask and answer them real quick. If not, I have some... Your quads should be burning. <laughs> Body weight exercises can definitely be tough. Just It's just about picking up the intensity so you can make it as easy or as hard as you want it to be. <laughs> yeah, those air squats, Christina. They're tough. All right, guys, 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, next one, guys. 10 reps of the alternating high plank, low plank, and 10 reps of the floor touch to jump. Same thing, three minutes. Again, the floor touch to jump is a little bit wider than that normal jumping air squat. So it's like kind of like a sumo squat. All right, get ready. Five seconds. Going straight into this. Three, two, one, go. High plank to low plank. That was one rep. And two and three. Yes. Hey Leonardo. Hopefully you have some nice neighbors underneath you. Yeah, guys, so we talked about in the beginning, like make sure you alternate a little, bit, uh, a little bit between your hands, okay? So we have high plank to low plank. Naturally, you always do one side over the other. Typically, that'll be your, uh, your strongest side. Um, just make sure you mix it up a little bit, okay? So don't always go down on the same side. Mix it up a little bit. Go down on the opposite side once in a while to kind of even it out a little bit. You got two minutes left. Under two minutes. Halfway. Really, I hope that carrot cake is tasty good right now. You should feel guilty. Last minute.
30 seconds. Sorry, I'm just reading comments. You got 30 seconds, guys. Again, hopefully try to try to pick up with Lauren. If you're ahead of her, maybe you're just a little behind her. Do it at your own pace, but try to push it. You got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. As many reps as you can. All the way through. You got five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice. That little gong. All right, I was halfway. Real quick, guys, so you can ask your questions right now if you need to. Lauren, I have one I want to show you real quick. So, guys, for both the plank shoulder chaps and for the high plank, low plank, uh, what typical hap like typically happens when you start getting tired is either you uh, you raise your uh, your hip, so either in your plank position you start to raise your hip because that'll make it easier, or you drop the hip. Okay. So try to like focus on on bracing your core. Oh, can you show a quick example, sir? Um, so make sure that doesn't happen. So like, don't do your plank shoulder chaps from there or, or like that. And opposite, don't raise your hips like too much out in the air, okay? That's also not really accomplishing what we're looking for. Rather put the knees in the ground and knee too. If your leg's not burning, just go a little faster and jump a little higher. 10 seconds and we're Thanks about to start leg. our second set. Do you know, I'm gonna join in the second one here. All right, three, two, one, go. Try to stay around the same pace as the last one if you can. If you slow down, that's okay too. Man, I should have kept coaching instead of doing the workout. Two minutes left, guys. Let's go, guys. You got it. Keep that belly brace. Halfway. Man, my legs. If you can, try to find your breath on those shoulder taps. One minute. If you need to, take a quick break and then get back on it. Almost done. Let's go around 30 seconds. All right, we've got the last little piece here, at least for the conditioning before we go into abs. I don't know what's going to be worse, the abs or this. Torture. <laughs> Definitely take part in the next one. Nothing really. Got my one and a half year old doing jump squats too. That's awesome, Heidi. 
Christina, you hate this, but love this. Sounds like all of us. Why do we keep doing this to ourselves? All right, one more set. You guys got it. Just remember to focus on your breath. And if, if you can, if you need to, take a break and then just get right back on it. Yeah, I want to set it right. Take that break if you need to. But try to push the last one here. All right, five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Sounds like you're farting that man. <laughs> Come on, say everyone. Be fun, everyone. Be thankful that we get to work out. Forty five seconds. guys 15 seconds almost there five and gone. Oh. Okay. I'm sweating <laughs> a lot of people saying love hate and that's me right now you love it, but you're gonna be feeling so great after this workout. <laughs> All right, guys. Take a little water break before we go into uh, whatever next piece may involve. Take a little second to breathe, get a towel out, wipe your face off, get some water. Water. And if you guys have to get going, that's okay. You can always come back to this and watch it later. So don't feel like you need to watch this all right now. Um, if some of you need to get to bed or I don't know, it's Saturday for some of us or Saturday for everyone in the US. So should be able to get this all done. Okay. We calm down a little bit? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so we're done with the first piece. Then we're done with part one up here. Let's call it part A. And now going into part B. Um, today we decided that the first piece here was gonna be Man, I can cut my face off. It's kind of weird to stand here. Man, apartment, I guess, problems. Um, it's kind of weird that the back, oh, sorry. The first piece here was supposed to be conditioning, focusing mainly on all well, legs and shoulders. I think, I think you guys realize that the first part up here was um, mainly uh, leg and quad dominant. 
second portion was probably more shoulder dominant uh, as we were spending more time on, on our hands in that plank position. Um, I think it was a good little mix of upper and lower body and conditioning. Now we're transitioning into uh, core, as we said in the beginning. If you missed that, um, let's get those abs rocking before the quarantine is over. Um, yeah, it's gonna be core, so core only. And there's gonna be uh, four different exercises, uh, five because one of them is like, uh, is on either uh, on both sides. The first one will be a side plank bounce plus a side plank hold. All of them have like a, a dominant, like sort of like a dynamic exercise into a hold, okay? So they all start with like a moving piece and then you're holding it right after, okay? So the first one is a side plank bounce plus a side plank hold. We're gonna do left side first. Afterwards, it's the same thing, but on the right side. The third one is a mountain climber twist plus a plank hold. Number four is a heel touch sit up plus a hollow hold. And the last one is a floor seated flutter, click, flutter kicks plus uh, floor seated L sit. I know that was a lot of words. I don't hope you turn it off just because uh, I was just talking for a lot there. There's a lot of exercises that you might not know. The way this is going to work is we're going to do 20 seconds moving, uh, 20 seconds of doing an exercise straight into 20 seconds of holding, straight into second 20 seconds of rest, okay? So each one is a minute long. This is a minute, minute two, minute three, minute four, minute five. 20 seconds, 20 seconds hold, 20 rest. 20 seconds of moving, 20 seconds hold, 20 rest, okay? I hope you get the point here. Lauren's gonna demo the exercises and then just follow along because there will be, this will be a type of follow along, okay? First one being a side plank bounce. You're gonna be in a side plank on your side, Showing? Uh, yes, it's showing. Okay, so Lauren here is in a side plank. You can also do this on a, if you prefer, on a, on a straight arm. However, I suggest you do it on, a, on your elbow. So like, like similar to Lauren how she is right here. Hip is moving up and down. That's exactly what it is. 20 seconds of that. It's totally fine to take a break. Like, like just go down and put the hip on the floor for a second if you need to take a break. Totally fine. It's also okay. another modification for this. If you need to, you can have both uh, knees and legs on the floor, so you can just do the bounces from this position yep. if you need to. So that'll be a modification if you can't do the other one. Okay, so you're going to do 20 seconds with that, straight into 20 seconds of just holding it, okay? Holding at the top. And same, you can do that from on your knees as well, okay? So 20 seconds of moving, straight into 20 seconds of holding, and now 20 seconds of rest, okay? The next one will be the exact same thing, but the opposite side. I don't think we need to show that. Number three is going to be a mountain climber twist. So Lauren is in a plank position and she's putting that knee up to the opposite elbow. Okay. She's alternating legs and she's doing them slow. If you're familiar with a mountain climber, we usually be doing the mountain climber at a fast speed, but today we're doing them slow. Okay. So if you're rotating as much as you can, touching that knee to elbow if you can, or just get as close to the elbow as you can at a slow and controlled pace. The pelvic and the hips should not move it like very much. Like it should be very steady. It should not be like rotating all over the place, okay? If you have to, just again, just get your knee as far as you can, or you can even go down to your knees and kind of get that knee up to your elbow as high as you can from the knees. Yeah, ways to modify here for sure. Next one, you know, you're gonna go straight into the plank hold, okay? So the 20 seconds of that, and then straight into just holding a normal plank, okay? Again, this can be done on the knees. Uh, we talked about it in the beginning. Number four is gonna be a heel sit, a heel touch sit up. So you're gonna be on the ground and you're gonna lift your upper body slightly off the ground. You can see Lauren's upper body here is slightly off the ground and she is rotating to touch her uh, heels, okay? Yep, there it is. I, there's not much modification to be done here. Uh, you don't have to touch all the way to the heel. You can just kind of like go a little, as far as you can and rotate a little bit and then just take rest if you need to, okay? And for the holding position, this one here, it will be a hollow hold. So Lauren has her, that's a true hollow hold right here with arms overhead. This will be a handstand aside, side, a little bit easier. And the last one will be where you bend the knees. And you can even, if you need to, you can even hold onto your thighs and kind of assist a little bit if, it's still, if that's too hard, okay? So four different versions right there because that, that will get hard. I guarantee you that. Last one, Lauren, we have one last one. It's a floor seated flutter kick. And I know you forgot all these exercises, but you just look at the screen and kind of follow along with Lauren. Flutter kicks, you're just holding on to, or the uh, feet in the, hands on the ground, feet off the ground, and then you're just doing that. To make it a little bit easier, 
Lauren has now moved her hands back and she can lean a little bit more and that will make it a little bit easier. You can also bend your legs and that will, or bend your knees and that will make it a little bit easier as well. Just find a good sweet spot for you where you can hopefully maintain the whole 20 seconds without stopping, wherever you stop as needed. Last one is the hold for this one will be a floor, seat, uh, floor seated L sit. Okay, so you just exact same, but now you're just holding the feet still. You can move backwards to make it easier. Okay, try not to teeter too much. It should be hard. It should be burning in your core. All right, I've been talking for a while now. I think we just need to kick it off. Don't worry. I I even forgot all these exercises myself. I will say them out as we're going along. I will say the timer and just look at the screen, see what Lauren is doing, and just follow her. You don't have to follow the same like speed, but just follow the exercise she's doing. Okay. 20 seconds on of the exercise, 20 seconds hold, and 20 seconds rest. Oh my gosh, someone's calling. Poor timing. There we go. Um, all right, and you're doing that whole thing, by the way, twice. So after the first round, we're gonna rest a little bit and we're gonna repeat it. All right, here we all go. Right, so we're going. Lauren, you ready? Yep. All right, guys, get ready. We have a little timer here again. Oh, it's okay. Get ready. There's no countdown apparently. Three, two, one, go. Side plank bounces. First one. There you go. Twenty seconds. Guys, can you? I can't see the clock. Yeah, I'll let you know. Five seconds. I'll let everyone know. Three, two, one, and hold. Now you're holding. You don't have to have the arm overhead. Uh, like I want to do, you can. It's fine. If you want to, you can spice it up. You can even put legs up. Ooh. Okay. It'll get hard either way, so just take it easy on the first round. We're going to do two rounds, as I said. Five seconds. Three, two, one. 20 seconds of rest. Okay. Guys, ask if there's any questions. My favorite is the ab sessions. At least we're not breathing hard, but our abs will get burning. All right, five seconds, guys. Opposite side, same thing, but opposite side. Two, one, go. Ten seconds. Again, if you need to, you can go down to your knees on this movement. Three, two, one. And rest. Nice. Oh, sorry, hold. I said it wrong. Hold, hold, hold. Don't listen to me. One side should definitely feel harder than the other side. For me, my left side is burning way more than my right side. You got five seconds and then you get to rest. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice. All right. 20 seconds rest. The next one we move into is the mountain climber twist into a plank hold. Again, remember this one is slow and controlled. You really want to try to get that knee to your elbow if you can. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Yep, exactly. That pace long is going, guys. Perfect. You can go a little faster, a little slower, but try to maintain that speed. Ten seconds. Get that knee up as far as you can. Three, two, one. Hold. Again, if you need to, you can go down to your elbows, forearms, rest right here, or you can stay up in that high plank. It's gonna burn your shoulders a little bit more. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Nice, I saw someone asking a comment. <laughs> hey, Marta. What's the next one? Uh, next one, guys, will be the heel touch sit ups into a uh, hollow hold again. Five, three, two, one, and go. All right, guys, rotate as much as you can here, touch your, out, uh, touch your heels. Eight seconds. Three, Two, one, hollow hold. Okay, so hollow hold here. Lauren's upper body is off the floor. So this is off the floor, her upper body, and her legs are off the floor. Here in the middle, I cannot put my hands in. So if you feel like your back is curving, try to like go into the next version where you're pulling up your knees. Yep. Two, one, rest. 
20 seconds, guys, and then we have the flutter kicks. And that's it. This one's going to hurt. Yeah, this one's going to be hard. <laughs> Get ready in five, three, two, one, go. How's that one? It burns. <laughs> As I said, you can lean back to make it easier, guys, but however, it should burn. So you find can that also spot. have your knees bent and kick like this if that's easier too. Three, two, one, and hold. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's silent on the other side shaking. Ten seconds. Hold it, guys. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Five, three, Two, one, rest. Oh. Nice, good job, guys. All right, perfect. Who thinks we should have Rasmus Joanne in on the second set? No, don't say that. <laughs> See if there's any questions. If you guys have any questions, we're gonna go through that one more time, and then we're gonna cool down and stretch after this, and any like Q and A you guys have. So again, feel free to ask us any questions. Destiny asked, "Are we doing this every day?" Um, at the moment, we've only been doing it once a week, but. Um, we'll kind of see, we'll see how long this quarantine goes and potentially maybe we might do it more than once a week. Hey guys, by the way, we have one more set, right? Just so you know, like people are not leaving yet, right? We have one, one more. One more set, everyone. So don't leave yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no questions. All right. Is everyone ready to go? go. You guys are ready to go. Thumbs up. Yeah. Make sure that it's right here. Bruce, you need to do more ab work. I feel that same way for years. I've been doing abs and I feel like I never All get right. better. Get ready, Lauren. All right, here we go, everyone. Second round, exact same thing. I'm not sure if this time, no, countdown is going to work. So get ready, ready, Lauren. Someone Side plank someone, bounces. Someone wanted you to join. Someone wanted me to join? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, I'll go join. God damn it. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, and this time there's a time of, of countdown. God, technology apparently doesn't always work. And go, side plank bounces. Last set, everyone. Three, two, one, hold. If you feel like you're twisting like this, make sure you try to really keep yourself stacked in a good position. So keep those hips elevated. Three, two, one, rest. Almost there, everyone. Five, come on. Three. Two, one, go. Oh, it's bounces. Five seconds. And hold. Man, my voice is starting to shake. Definitely gonna feel like we're ready for the beach after this. Five, three, two, one, rest. Nice. Yeah, guys. All right, mountain climber twist exactly. plus the plank hold next. Hopefully, everyone's feeling this in their abs. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, hold. Almost there. Stay relaxed. Five, 
three, two, one, rest. Nice. Heel touch, sit ups. 10 seconds. Last two minutes, guys. All right, five seconds. Two, one, go. This one's hard, too. Huh? This one's hard. And hold. Really keep that belly tucked. Tuck your knees in if you need to, like me. Three, two, one, rest. Last one, everyone. And we can go about our Saturdays. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Almost there. And hold. Hey right, guys, you got 20 seconds here. You were asked, you skipped the hardest part. I know, I want to make sure everyone's here. Because I wanted to say, I think Lauren's in a little bit of pain here, and I thought it'd be fun since this last one. Let's do another like, extra 10 seconds, okay? If you can, you got three, two, one, but let's do an extra 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds extra here. Last one. I promise there's nothing else after. It's just kind of nice to see, see Lauren. Suffer a little bit. You got five seconds. And rest. Nice. <laughs> Good job, guys. Awesome work. Lauren is going to take you through a short cool down if you want to. You can get going if you need to. We're already creeping in on 47 minutes, so get going if you need to. Um, we're going to do a short cool down and then like a little QA afterwards. So. Do you want to just move it over here? Uh, let's just do the cue down. It's nice. Okay. Well, let's do the cool down here. We can take a closer review. All right. Uh, I guess first things first, we're going to go back to laying on the ground. And then we're going to go into scorpion pose. So keep those hips on the ground, toes and feet together. And then you guys are going to just stretch out your abs so you can rest right here. Just kind of loosen up everything and hold this position. Again, if you guys have any questions, now is the time. We'll just go through a cool down if you need to get going. Go ahead. Cool down will be like three minutes, guys, and then we'll go into a five minute QA, whatever that'll take, and then All that's right. a wrap. Everyone's gonna stand up, and then we're gonna grab our right ankle and we're gonna hold this position right here, really feel that stretch in our hip. And if you can balance, get that left hand up and just wanna reach up as high as you can, really feel that stretching in front of your hip. Hold that for. Five more seconds. Oh, you like a timer? I'll tell you what. And uh, then we're gonna switch sides. So left, grab your left ankle with your left foot. Again, reach up. Someone said they like the timer. Do you know, I'll put the timer right here to say, I'll tell you which one it is. It's kind of funny, it's called Fit at Midlife. Can you see Lauren still? All right, next one we're just gonna go left arm over. Get that right arm over your elbow. We're just gonna feel that stretch in our shoulders. And then go to the other side. That's a timer, guys. If anyone liked the timer, called fitatmidlife.com forward slash timer. All right, next one, we're just gonna get our feet really wide. And then we're gonna reach down to that left side. Feel a stretch in your hamstring. If you need to, bend your knee a little bit. Then we're gonna reach down to our right side. And then we're gonna just relax right here. 
Grab your elbows and just hang. Just play your whole body. Lay here. And then we're just going to go back and rock back and forth 10 times. All right, last one. Just go down into a squat hold. Yeah, join the husband next time. Make sure he joins. Just hold it here. And then down into, I think this is called frog pose. We're going to just hold this position right here. Lean back into those hips. All right, that is a wrap, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, if you guys want us to do more of these, oh, we really appreciate it. Well, we are going to be doing more of these. Yeah, sure. oh, well, I know okay. if people have to get going. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask it right now. Quick question, what's your watch, Lauren? Uh, I am wearing just the normal Garmin watch. Uh, nothing fancy. I got this on Amazon. Uh, it's a Forerunner 235. I'll put it in there. That was awesome. Thank you, RJ, for joining. Thank you, Madeline, for coming in. Well, quick, speak, speaking of that watch, it's actually a really good watch. I really like it. It's simple. It's not the most advanced. But it has the basics and it's super, super easy to use. We both use it. I have mine as well. It's a really nice watch. Thank you, Valeria. Thank you, Lisa. All right. Any questions, do guys? Now's the time to ask. Francisco asked, do you have any exercises to get more shoulder strength to get the handstands? Ooh, are we talking about quarantine time or are we talking about gym time? Um, I'll, I'll break it down real quick. Like if you're gym, well, I mean, a million exercises. Um, most basic one being just a strict press. I feel like that's a really good basic exercise that accomplishes a lot of shoulder strength. Um, however, then variations of the strict press, right? So you got, uh, you can do the different angles to the strict press. So like meaning bench press or upper press, you can do different angles. You can do out to the side, maybe, um, some rotation works and lateral race, anything will really sh uh, strengthen your shoulders. Um, will work to improve your, your handstand uh, push-ups. Uh, I'm assuming handstand it might- Handstand hold. Handstand hold, sorry. Oh, handstand hold even. Um, handstand hold, I would probably start like um, in a pike like pike hold position. Like, can you show a pike hold real quick? Just briefly right here. That's a good one if you're talking quarantine time um, right there. So like you can do this or you can even, so since Lauren is just right here, right? Right there, that's a good, kind of like a, in between a handstand hold and a plank hold. So you can even put her legs on the couch and slowly start to elevate uh, more and more weight onto her shoulder and mimic more and more of the handstand hold, right? So that's a good way to kind of accumulate some time. I'd actually start there, I think that's a really good exercise. So start from a plank, a plank position and move into the pike hold and then move into like where you are elevating your, your legs and putting more and more weight onto your shoulders. Um, Maria asked, will we do a fitness retreat? So far with everything going on, I don't think anyone wants to go on a fitness retreat, but that is, Definitely in the works when everything calms down. Um, so, well, we had one planned. We were supposed to go to Colombia in Colombia in July, June, June. Um, Medellin, can't. and we're really excited about that. But yeah. we had to cancel. So, but there will hopefully be one maybe in 2020. I don't know. We'll see with everything going on. Yeah, I don't know. It might be more. Uh, me asked, has your training volume decreased during the quarantine? Yes, my training volume has decreased. Um, I'm actually a little bit smaller than I usually am. That's how I feel. Rasmus said they look the same, but um, I haven't been training as much as I usually do. I've probably on average just been training about once a day, and usually I'm training twice a day with a lot of heavy lifting and heavy loads. So I'm d definitely not able to do that right now. However, it's not. I mean, you don't. I mean, I'm still training. Yeah, it's about the same, like a little bit less volume, but not much less. I think just the lifting has been cut back. Yeah, lifting is the hardest part. Yeah. Um,. Really appreciate how simple, effective this was. I'm a newbie, so the pace and explanations were perfect. Thank you, Sarah, for coming in and joining. Definitely join us for the next one. Ooh, that's uh, a good question. Do you eat less when you lift less? So actually, I've been eating a lot less than I usually do, but I feel like I need to be eating more. Um, and so I feel like when I'm training more, I'm more hungry, and that's why I eat a lot of food. And then when I train less, I'm not as hungry, so I don't eat. But I definitely need to find that balance of in-between. It's a hard balance, right? Because like you have macros, like you're following like a template to like tells us exactly what to eat based upon like what we usually train. And then all of a sudden that train, like or that changes how many calories burn essentially. Like when we train less, burn less calories, then the amount of food we are eating need to change as well. 
in order to kind of like keep up with that. And that's kind of hard to like adjust that. Um, yeah, just kind of on the spot. It's kind of hard to change that. Roxanne asked, what was Rasmus's wad yesterday before the cheat meal? So we did, um, <laughs> it was something we came up with on the spot. I was about to do a grunge strong workout and then um, we just did something else. And it was 50 calorie row for men, 38 calorie for women. I want to say it like this. It was 50, so you have a pair of dumbbells. You do 50 deadlifts, 50 hang power cleans, 50 front squats, 50 shoulder overhead and 50 thrusters. So essentially it goes through like a deadlift first into a hang power clean, into a front squat, into a shoulder overhead, into um, a thruster. So 50 reps, 50, 50, 50, 50. After, before, like so to start the workout and after each of these sets, you're doing 50 calorie rows for guys, 34 for ladies. So it ended up no, being- No, 38. 38, sorry. So they ended up being six sets of rowing and five different stations of dumbbell movements. That's a fun one. It took like just over 30 minutes. Uh, me asked, can you do technique videos? So um, I actually have my own fitness program, Grown Strong Fitness, and we have over 500 tutorial videos and exercise videos. So if you're looking to jump on a program, um, you can check that out at grownstrong.com. And there's tons of technique videos. And even in the community, like we're always posting like tutorials um, and anything to help anyone out. So if you're looking for something like that to really kind of dial it in during the quarantine. Someone asked about coffee. I mean, I could make a cup of coffee. It usually takes me like about 10 minutes to make one. So like, I don't think you guys want to watch that. However, like I will say, I don't, I'm not a good coffee maker. I enjoy it. But the recent thing I really found that I enjoy is uh, I make my, uh, my coffee and then I frost some uh, oat milk. Like oat milk is really good. And you can buy specific barista ones that made for like frothing a little bit better. I do cheat, so I have a frother machine that does it for me, but the reason why I use that is because it spins it. So why it spins it around, I put protein powder in, I put a, a scoop of vanilla um, puree protein from puree, and uh, it just, it makes a really good oat milk, vanilla latte, I guess I should say. And um, he's been making me a matcha latte, because I'm really, I'm a really big tea drinker, so like, I'm obsessed right now with my matcha latte. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, Jesus asked, will you come to Spain? Unfortunately, not right now, we will not be going to Spain just with everything going on, so hopefully after the quarantine. Um, Madeline asked, are your workouts CrossFit or based off that type of workout? So. Um, the Grown Strong workouts are more like high intensity training with a mix of like power and strength. Um, so they are based a little bit off CrossFit, but they're definitely modified down so anyone can do it from any level. Um, we really like that high intensity training and the constantly varied aspect of CrossFit. So we definitely try to incorporate it, but anyone can do it. Um, we definitely, we have three different levels. So what we did right here is very similar to like uh, what we have in yeah. the program. Yeah, it's very similar to our 30 minute program we have. Uh, want to ask what like if most effective workout to hit the back that can be done at home? Man, that is a good question. I, it's, that's one of the hardest things to hit that uh, hit lats and back without any weights is really, really hard. Like it's easy to hit weights, uh, sorry, legs and it's really hit to hit shoulders without any weights, uh, core, obviously like we just did. However, hitting the back and lats are some of the hardest part to hit that workout. Uh, we hit to hit up without any equipment or weights. I will say there's one exercise I found, like we, you can get a towel or like a rope or something like that, wrap it around like, um, a door handle and you can do like, ta like sort of a, a row from the door handle, make sure you have a good door handle, but you can do some rows with that rope. Like, so you're gonna understand what I'm saying, like rope going around a door handle, you hold onto it, you lean back and you can pull. That will give your lats and upper back a little bit. Uh, however, I'll take a step further. I'll say, get a band, get a packet, like some bands. Bands, you can do like uh, face uh, pull parts, face pulls. You can do single arm rows with a band. Um, so get a, some bands. That would really be the best way to, to get, a, to accomplish that. Hi, asked, what are you guys doing to sane during the quarantine i'm guessing like what are we doing to keep sane during this time um i mean honestly we're keeping up with our normal day-to-day -day. so like we're still training uh keeping up with our daily training our daily eating habits uh still working uh we do majority of our work from home so nothing has really changed for us um just trying to continue to build grown strong and i think one thing that we definitely do in our off time right now we're obsessed with the show money heist so I don't know if any of you guys have heard of that on Netflix, but literally last night we splurged on two and a half episodes, I think. <laughs> it's so good. Um, 
Okay, so really having a really good question. Well, first off, I hope your carrot cake was good while you you watched the show. Um, what is your focus and priorities during the quarantine? That's the first part of the question. Uh, and second part, uh, what is the most important thing for you to maintain right now to make sure you still work towards a competition time? Oh, man, such a good in-depth question, Billy. That's right on the spot right there. Um, I think to min- like to stay uh, to kind of stay sane and uh, – no, sorry, focus on priorities during the quarantine. For us, I think it's just um, getting training in, like getting training done. I think the one – like one time in life right now that has ever like no one not no time in life has ever tested mental strength of athletes better than right now. It's such an easy thing for uh, for athletes or anyone else for that matter to just be like take this as a vacation almost right. You might be home from work most likely or you're working from home. It's like you can get out a little bit later. Uh, you can skip the workout pretty easy, uh, and it's really really hard for us to get our normal vol- like volume in of training. So for us, like the focus of priority is to like try not to slack, uh, try to find a schedule that we can stick to. And we're not necessarily doing a very good job, but we're trying. So have a schedule where we like we wake up, we kind of do that same morning routine as we would if we were going to the gym or in most people's cases going to work. And then like we're trying to follow that schedule um, and kind of keep it as, as normal as we, we did before. And um, it's what's the most important thing to maintain that, like, yeah, to work. Well, that kind of goes back to that same thing, right? Like, in order to, like, work towards competition time is to, like, make sure you don't fall off that wagon that you're on right now. We're, we're doing pretty well in terms of the fit, level, like, level of fitness we're at before. Um, but it's really, really hard to keep it up right now. So I think just as I said, like, a schedule uh, and make sure you don't kind of fall off is, uh, is the biggest piece right now. And I think one thing for us, too, it's, like, I'm not able to lift heavy weights right now, but I can still keep up my aerobic capacity work. So I've really been trying to like run, bike, um, doing other things I wouldn't necessarily have time to train for when I'm like, when we're not in the quarantine, because then I'm constantly lifting heavy weights and all that. But now I'm like, well, now I can focus on my weakness and actually get better at like rowing and running and biking. So you definitely can make the most of it right now. What do you think about CrossFit Games going online? <laughs> Hashtag new cast too. Um, do you know what? I don't, honestly, I don't know, man. It's a tough one, right? Because what are the options? Is it options to cancel it or the options to take it online, uh, postpone it? Like, what are the options? I, honestly, man, like, I, it must be a logistic nightmare for those guys running running those type of events. And I really can't imagine, like, what will be the best option. I don't, anyone know, I don't think anyone knows the best option right now. So taking it online, like, honestly, it might, might be a good – I don't know. It might be a good way to do it. Um, I think there might be a fun, a different way to kind of bring the community together despite what's going on. However, are they able to do a good test of fitness? I, I doubt it. I'll be impressed if they can. Rogue is, is doing the same thing, right? So that'll probably be the first sort of test to see if it actually works. Um, so I'm excited to see it. I, I, I think there might have been a good choice. It's going to be hard to tell. All right. I think that was the last of the questions. So thank you everyone for tuning in again, just kind of stay tuned on my Instagram. That's usually where I post about the next ones. Um, and you can, yeah. What else do they need to do? No, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. Um, Oh, last question. How is wedding planning going? Uh, it's going, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell like if the wedding is continuing or not, but it is definitely so far in motions, in works. We have our flights, we have our accommodations booked and everything. So right now I'm in the middle of planning out flowers and decorations. Rasmus doesn't care about any of that. That's uh, not true. <laughs> you wanted to change this to 2021. I don't know if you need a pen to like change this no, to 2021. It is 2020 if we have any family watching right now. So um, we'll kind of make a decision come June, whether or not like we'll continue on with it. But as of now, like, it's in September and we're still five months away. So hopefully by then everything will be back to normal. Yeah. Maria, you're right. They can do a symbolic version instead of a competition. I I probably agree with that. That might be a better way to do it. We'll see. I don't think there's anything official yet. So I guess we'll, we'll kind of see at least like not the logistics of it. So we'll see what happens. All All right. right, Thank you everyone for tuning in. Hope you guys all have a great Saturday or if it's night, hope you have a good night. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you.